what's up guys it's Kristen. welcome and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in to another video it is that time of the week where we prefer prepare what is that where we prepare for some all digital 5025 deals that you could take advantage of this saturday which is june 1st at your local dollar general it's crazy to think that this saturday is june 1st like half of the year gone like i can't I just can't really wrap my mind around that. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, I'm so happy that y'all are here. And basically, um, I'm going to show y'all some deals that y'all can do, like I said, for this Saturday. All you need is your phone with the Dollar General app. So if you don't have it clipped, if you don't have the Dollar General app, download it. Download it, create an account with the phone number. That way you can clip the following coupons. And then it's really as simple as... Clipping the coupons, grabbing your items um, on Saturday, and typing in your phone number and the coupons applying. Really just that simple. So without further ado, we're going to head inside. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. And then if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to drop them down below. Before I go in, this is actually a decent week. Now check your accounts to see if you have that P&G coupon um, for spend 40 and you get back, wait, spend $40 on P&G products and you will receive a $10 coupon. I have some scenarios for that as well. So if you're thinking about using it, but you don't know how, let this be a guide. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure I said that first. Um, of course, before you actually grab anything, when you go on Saturdays, make sure you have the coupons. Sometimes some coupons don't make it to all accounts. Um, and then as a matter of fact, as you're watching the video, if it's a deal you want to do, clip the coupons today, today, the day you're watching this video, clip your coupons because sometimes they are removed um before saturday and then that sucks because you can't take advantage of a deal that you were really looking forward to now that's all i have to say i'll see you guys inside all right guys so last week i switched up my how i did my 5025 deals for dollar general instead of just going on the aisles repeatedly i just gathered everything and just show you like this with the digital coupons i got a lot of positive feedback doing it this way so i'm just going to continue so this is scenario one now in this car i told y'all how we have a 10 off of 40 PNG coupon. I'm going to show you a deal just using 5025 and then I'm going to add to it to show you how, what would you do or how would you do it if you wanted to also take advantage of the 10 off 40. So this is what you're going to do. This is only taking advantage of the 5025. So we have the Mr. Clean Clean Freak price at $6. We have a $2 digital, a Febreze Small Space price at $325. We have a $2.30 digital. The Dawn Power Wash on sale for $5. Well, I think it's regular price $5, but we do have a $2 digital. The Crest 3D White, this is a 2.7 ounce. It is priced at $3. We have a $2 digital. If your store does not have this one in stock, there is a three ounce one that is $3.35 that you can pick up. Um, the Febreze Plug on sale for $3.25. We have a $2.30 digital. And then you wanna grab a Gain or Tide product priced at $5.50, no coupons. So before coupons, this is going to total out to exactly $26. So you also want to make sure that 5025 coupon is clipped. Once everything is scanned, you type in your phone number. It's going to leave you to pay uh, what I have, just $10.40 for these items, which I don't think is bad. When the Mr. Clean and Dawn um, Power Wash together is $11. Now, um, again, if you want to just if you want to take advantage of the 10 out 40, because all of these are PNG products. What you want to do is just simply remove that gain or tie product. So right here, I'm, I'm removing this one. And then I'm going to add a tied or gain product that is priced at $19.95. We have a $4 digital. So for this scenario, before coupons, the total is $40.45. So you want to also make sure that that 10 off 40 coupon is clipped. Of course, that 5025 coupon needs to be clipped. So once everything is scanned, you type in your phone number, you're going to pay $20.85 at the register but then you're gonna get a $10 coupon. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna print. Usually when we get coupons like this, it will just be um, added to your account. So wait a couple of hours, maybe one or two hours, and that $10 coupon should attach to your, um, should pop up in your account, and then you can use it on more PNG products. Not bad. Um, the final cost for this is the same uh, final cost for the other scenario. The only difference is you are spending um, $10 more out of pocket, but then you're getting it right back. So it really just depends on how you want to use it. But even spending $21 for this is not bad because that Tide is $20. And then again, you can swap it out for a game if you like. My store only had the pods priced at $19.95 a game. 
well the flings but um you may have the liquid detergent but yeah let me know which one is your favorite out of the two something i also forgot to mention is that if your store is out of the febreze plugs it is a product that really is never in stock what you could do is just grab another crest toothpaste price at three dollars um cause, because we do have two different two dollar digitals so you just swap it out and um should be a little difference i'm not sure maybe like 15 20 cents maybe but that's an option um if your store is out of the febreze plug now let's get into some paper product deals so this is um what option one for picking up some paper products so we have of course the dawn power wash told you it's five dollars we have that two dollar digital the scott 12 count is regular price at five dollars we have a two dollar coupon that is attached to this one now the coupon states for a bigger size but when you scan it that coupon is attaching meaning that it will come off at the register so again make sure on saturdays that you scan that product again because y'all know how dg um is sometimes a coupon will be ta will attach and then saturday it won't attach so double check make sure um but then you're going to grab the small space remember price at 325 we have that two dollar and thirty cent digital the eight count of the angel soft is priced at 5.95 we have a dollar digital and then last but not least we're going to grab the two count of the airwick refill price at 6.25 we do have a four dollar digital so before any coupons or anything like that this is going to total out to 25.45 so also make sure that 5025 coupon is clipped. Once everything is scanned, you type in your phone number. It's gonna leave you to pay just nine dollars and fifteen cents for these items, which I think is pretty decent. Um, yeah, that's actually a really good deal. Um, what else? Is there anything else I need to say about this um, deal? No, that's it. Just make sure on Saturday you always scan your products to make sure that the coupons are attaching, because we just never know with Dollar General. It could be a cent that's not attaching. It could be a size, whatever. The only way to know is to use your Dollar General app, click the little barcode at the top right, I think, and scan the barcode on the product. But yeah, $9 for this is a pretty nice deal. All right, guys, so here's my second paper product scenario. We're gonna be taking advantage of some Scott. So this week, they're on a promotion that you spend $15 on select Scott products, $3 will instantly come off at the register. Now, a few things to note when you're doing a deal um, taking advantage of instant savings as well as trying to use that 5025 coupon the instant savings the money you save instantly does not count towards your um, 5025 so anytime you're doing scenarios with instant savings um, subtract the instant savings um, and make sure that that total is still at least at $25 that way that 5025 coupon will come off um, so what we're doing we're taking advantage of the 18 count of the Scott toilet paper Price at $10.50, we have a $2 digital. And then to get us to the $15 in Scott. Now this store still has the old packaging of the paper towels, the six equals 10 count, price at $6.50. If your store no longer has this one, then you would just grab the one, the six equals nine count. It's the same price at $6.50. Um, and then we're gonna grab the two count of the Airwick. Remember price at $6.25, we have that high value $4 digital the what how many ounces is this 23 ounce of the mr clean cleaner priced at four dollars we have a dollar digital and then we're, we're like less than a dollar um short from 28 dollars so we're finishing it off with this colgate cavity protection um toothpaste priced at 225 we have a dollar and 50 cent digital so before any coupons any instant savings any of that these products is going to total out to 29.50 once everything is scanned and the cash rate hits total Three dollars going to instantly come off for spending fifteen on Scott, making a new total twenty six fifty. You're still over that twenty five dollar amount, so you can take advantage of the five dollars twenty five. So make sure that coupon is clipped. Once everything is scanned, they type in total, and then you type in your phone number. It's going to leave you to pay just thirteen dollars plus tax for these items, which is amazing. I don't know if I already mentioned it, but if your store, if you have issues using that digital five dollars twenty five coupon with your deals, use a paper five dollars twenty five coupon. You would just simply scan that first, have them scan that first, and then type in your phone number. Um, but yeah, $13 isn't bad. Now, another thing too, I know some people are like, they can't use a paper 5025 because their cashier would tell them, oh, if you have the digital, you can't stack. I wouldn't even say anything. I would just simply just hand over the paper. You're standing there, just hand over that coupon, let them scan it. And then after they hit total and stuff, when you're, the number part disappears, just say, oh, I also need to type in my phone number type in your phone number you shouldn't have any issues um and just tell them you don't have that coupon clip so that's why you're using a paper coupon anyways 13 dollars isn't bad 
um i have a quite a few more deals so instead of yapping and talking <laughs> let's get into um the other scenarios now this next scenario i have to show y'all that like this because my story is basically out of stock of this product so i can't really show you now this is a scenario taking advantage of that ten dollar png coupon when you spend 40. so what you want to do is just grab four of the pamper easy ups doesn't matter what size boys or girl doesn't matter this week they are on sale two for 20. so of course four of them will total out to 40 dollars. so you again make sure that ten dollar png um coupon is clipped that way you can get that ten dollars back at the end um, and then the 5025, and then we also have a three off of two digital, a two off of one digital, and a dollar fifty off of one digital. So after all of your coupons with that 5025 savings, you're gonna pay $28.50, getting back that $10 coupon, uh, making a final cost $18.50 for the four. But it gets better if you haven't already submitted to PG to take advantage of their rebate. They have one still going on, I believe, where you spend $20 in PNG products after coupons. You get back $5, like they'll give you a $5 Visa card. Or if you spend $50, they'll send you a $15 um, Visa card. Um, so if you haven't already redeemed that or whatever, you will also get back the $5 from that website. Making a final cause, what, $13.50 for four packs of Easy Ups, which is not bad. Anytime you can get cheap baby products, I say get it. And then if you're like, well, I don't want to spend that much money just to get a $10 coupon. Something that you could do, say you're doing this deal for the Pamper Easy Ups and you get that $10 coupon. You use that $10 coupon for anything. Well, it has to be PNG products. So say if you need another pack of um, Easy Ups, grab it for just $2. If you need some wipes, take that $10 and pick you up some wipes, detergent, whatever. As long as it's a Procter & Gamble product, that $10 coupon will apply and then just always scan um, in the app and it'll show you if it works or not but um yeah so this next scenario is more of a personal care um scenario do you want to grab two of the soft soap body washes priced at 550 we have a five off of two digital if you prefer irish spring you can grab the uh, two of the irish spring or just mix and match one soft soap one irish spring of course your final cost will probably change between anywhere between 15 to 30 cents so grab in this scenario i have the soft soap so two soft soaps with the five off of two digital we have the chic intuition razor price said 825 we have a four dollar digital the six count of the scott toilet paper price at 350 that two dollar scott coupon is attaching to this um scott um and then for a nice little filler item we have the crest 3d white toothpaste price at three dollars we have that two dollar digital so before coupons these products going to total out to 25.75 so also make sure that 5025 coupon is clipped. Once everything is scanned, you type in your phone number. Once all the savings apply, leads you to pay just $7.75 plus tax for these items. Again, really nice. A lot of savings is happening um, in this scenario. For the next scenario, here are the products that we're grabbing. So we have one of the Irish Spring Body Washes priced at $5.35, as well as the Soft Soap Body Wash priced at $5.50. Remember, we have that five off of two digital. Um, the Nivea lotion price at $5.75. We have a $2 digital. Again, with the Scott, the six count price at $3.50. Clip that $2 digital. And then last but not least, we have the Colgate Total toothpaste price at $5.75. And we have a $3 digital. Now, there's also a $2 digital. Do not clip that because you guys know at Dollar General, the lower value coupon will apply, making your final cost a dollar more. So before coupons, these products will total out to $25.85. Making sure that 5025 coupon is clipped. Once everything is scanned, you type in your phone number, it's gonna drop you down to just $8.85 for these items, which is not bad. We have $11 in body wash. Um, other than that, we're gonna jump into the other scenarios. All right, you guys, so I actually had somebody behind me waiting for me to finish my content and I could kind of like feel them behind me, so I was gonna look nervous, but apparently that's my last scenario. So we have made it to the end of the video. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate y'all. Now, a couple of things to know about these scenarios. One, I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty good. You let me know if you how you feel or which one is your favorite, but I think they're pretty decent this week. Um, now, again, these deals are valid Saturday, June 1st. Um, if you decide to try to go before Saturday, your final cost will be $5 more because that Dollar General 5025 is only valid on Saturday. So make sure you remember that as well as um, all digital coupons are one-time use. So if there's a deal you wanna take advantage of more than once or a certain coupon you wanna use in different scenarios, you will need multiple accounts. 
how to get multiple accounts ask your friends or family it's just that simple but um yeah make sure you clip your coupons again and clip them today clip them now plan out your stuff and yeah let me know if there's a deal or scenario you came up with or you saw from somebody else because that may be a deal that i want to do or somebody else so remember sharing is caring but that's all i have i'm gonna get out here so i can start editing i love y'all thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one